Here, a random attack leads to a police pursuit. The victim thought she was going to die a gruesome, violent death. So her suspected attacker is a KTV Crime Stoppers most wanted. It's unknown why, but Michaela Fryer allegedly attacked a woman out of the blue. Happened the morning of July 19th at a house near 45th and Franklin. According to the affidavit, the victim said Fryer hit her approximately 20 times with a closed fist in the head, face, and arms. The victim jumped into a nearby car, but Fryer also got into the vehicle, threatened her with a knife. The victim jumped out of the moving vehicle because she was afraid Fryer was going to gut me like a fish. She then flagged a mail carrier and used their phone to call 911. Police spotted the car on 45th, the driver matching Fryer's description. That driver sped away heading north. They went off the road and actually drove onto the sidewalk, nearly colliding with an additional officer arriving on scene. The car then turned west on Decatur, ran a stop sign, and headed to the Northwest Radial Highway. It blew through a red light, nearly colliding with westbound traffic, and turned north. Speeding up now, the driver ran another red light while getting onto Fontenelle Boulevard, nearly colliding with several vehicles in the intersection. Hitting 60 miles an hour now, police called off the pursuit. But that doesn't mean they're not still looking for Fryer. She's 23 years old, 5'5", weighs 165 pounds. Brown hair, blue eyes. Her last known address was near 33rd in Martin. If you know where she is now, tell Crime Stoppers. Call, email, text. Tips, goes through, tips go through a process where you stay anonymous but can still get cash if she's caught.